Hey guys, this is Ron here, the Cowboy Prepper. I'm sorry I haven't done a video here recently, but I've been busy. Uh, been working on a beehive. I've decided this spring that I wanted to get into bees a little bit. And I'd been doing a lot of looking online. A lot of preppers are going towards the top bar beehive. And I thought, well, that's what I want to build. I went above and beyond a little bit on it, but that's okay. I, I like for stuff to be nice when I make it. I'm going to give you all a little tour of it. This will be the front side where the bees enter and exit. You see, i got three holes on each side. Uh, the reason for that is one side of it, uh, if necessary, I can make a nuke out of it, like for starting a new bee colony. Uh, I've got dividers in there that separates the two. I'll show you all that just in a second. Here's a side view of it. And this will be the back view. This is the side that I will work from. That way I don't hinder the bees when they're coming and going. Sorry about the finger getting in the way. Okay, I've put me a chain there to keep the lid from going all the way back. These are your bars. I used some oak strips that I had and I just cut down to make a bevel across the top. Any of y'all that's interested, according to what I've read, bees like to build on the lowest hanging objects in there. so. You've got these bars that go in just like this, and with these lips I've got right here I've made, they will build from it, and since they're straight, they should follow a straight line building a comb, which will make a comb on each one of these bars. Now, this wider one right here, this is a divider. I'll take some of these out, and you see, I have a divider. I built a feeder as well that goes right in there so from here over is one hive and uh, if they need more room all I got to do is just slide this down and put bars on the other side now my understanding as the uh, they build their brood hives first and uh, they will get a little they keep them real tight and close together, but when they get all the brood they want, then they can, uh, they'll can they start making their just honey storage. And then they will make the hive just a little bit, the hive's a little bit wider. So I've got these little bars right here that I can put in, which will spread the uh, hive look out a little, spread the bars out a little bit, giving them more room for the honey storage. I've got a bunch of these. Them are actually strips. I cut off of these pieces, so it's all just spare stuff that I had. But anyway, this is it. And if I get to the point where I do have another, need a, another hive, until this one gets big enough that possibly could take up the whole thing, I can use this one right here to start another hive. And they can't get in between each other and cause problems there now I've also it's got a screened in bottom board and I just use some J channel from uh, vinyl siding and that's just a piece of vinyl siding actually right there during the summer you pull it out so they can get plenty of ventilation and all the garbage can drop out through the screen and in the winter time you can close it off keep them having a draft now, everything I've read and saw uh, bees, most uh, the worst thing bees can have is moisture, and they produce moisture when they're uh, trying to stay warm during the winter. My understanding, and so you do need a little bit of air ven ventilation to keep it dry in the hive. So this may not be too much of a an opening for the winter time. Uh, they live and survive up north in the colder climates just fine and of course we've had some cold weather the last few days but it's nothing like what they've had up north still 
so maybe that'll be just fine if it's not i see, think that i need to do something different i can go back with a piece of paneling or something and uh, make it feel even tighter but anyway that's it that's what i've been doing uh, talking with some bee guys around here nobody has a top bar beehive and of course they don't the older guys they don't like changing they like the langstroth hives and uh, a buddy of mine that's kind of giving me some information and schooling me uh, really recommended a langstroth hive but i had this already started and i wanted to finish it but uh, i think i am going to build a langstroth hive next because uh, that way i can try them both out you can buy them but i just soon build one myself if i can but uh, anyway that's it i just wanted to show y'all what i've been doing and how come i hadn't been making videos recently i appreciate y'all watching remember tough times don't last tough people do oh side note here uh i did order my bees i ordered them from georgia bee company uh or georgia bee supply i think it's down in macon georgia had to uh I put them on hold. I actually called and placed the order. They started taking orders for 2014, November the 1st. And they said that usually they're sold out by the last day of December. So I went ahead on November 1st and ordered my bees. And uh, so they should be coming in here, I think, somewhere around March. Hope it don't fall during the uh, during prepper stock 2014. I'd have to make a trip back up just to install bees. But... Anyway, again, thank y'all for watching.